I got my dick in a wormhole. I got it. That's not the issue. It's my dick in a box. Palm Springs. Palm Springs. You, what is going on? Hey, get out of the water, girl. It's really tough to describe this movie in too much detail without giving away certain plot elements that are, you know, I'm sure the trailer probably gives it away anyway, but uh, all we're gonna say is, very funny movie. It's one of those infinite time loop situations you might have heard about. That I might have heard about? Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna declare it. I think this is going to be the comedy of 2020. I haven't seen a comedy this good maybe in five years, it's, 10 years. It's, it's really, really well done. I would say this is a perfect movie. And when I say perfect, I don't mean it's everything is just, but what I mean is, I don't understand how anybody could dislike this movie. Yeah. It's that well made. Right. It's that well acted, funny, heartfelt, thoughtful, only an hour and 20 minutes. It was a huge waste of time. I cannot believe I am using the word restraint and heartfelt <laughs> in the same sentence as Lonely Island it's Productions. The same people who brought us Dick in a Box, <laughs> I'm on a Boat, Hot Rod, where Andy Samberg does this. I cannot believe this movie goes with them. I'm I'm not you know I'm not a big Andy Samberg fan. I, I don't I when he's funny he's funny and I like it. Like I liked some of their sketches on Saturday Night Live. I've heard he's great in Brooklyn Nine Nine Nine. I never got into the show. Never but... saw it either. It hurts you every time. No, I know, but I'm fired up. The adrenaline is going to carry me through. Here we go. Man, this is l exactly like a slightly older, restrained Andy Samberg playing this, you know, I don't know if it's a version of himself, but this like, you know, like kind of a little world weary, beaten down version that you imagine Andy Samberg might be. And uh, totally was 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 into that. Uh, Kristen Milioti, like, uh, I, I, she was in that Black Mirror episode. Yeah. Jesus. I and, and she's the mom. She's the stupid how, mom how, at the how, end of that. How, how we met her as a mother, like, you know, spoilers. Earmuffs. The mothers are the friends we make along the way. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so anyway, Andy Samberg is like reliably funny. You know he's gonna yes. be funny, you expect him to be funny, whatever. But Kristen Milioti, fantastic in this movie. She's super charming, super funny, like real, and real heartfelt in raw times. Like just great performance by her. And J.K. Simmons, you know, I can't I I it, can't do anything can't wrong. Can't do anything wrong. Like just J.K. Simmons like being both J.K. Simmons crazy and also J.K. Simmons heartfelt. You wanna uh, dance? You know the officiant? He's got a bag of sweets in his pocket. You're right. Got him. J.K. Simmons is getting like misused, I think, a lot. He's he's overcast. Yeah. Uh, I love him, but I mean they, they just hey, we don't we're not considering what you're really good at. We're yeah. just putting your face in this role. And, and, and it's basically, they're like, oh yeah, we saw the trailer for Whiplash. Were you rushing or were you dragging? And could you just be that, like, oh, you'd be that yeah. little angry guy and like, well, he won an Oscar for it and it was a great performance and it had nuance. Like, hey, just be the angry, yeah. you know, the guys are just like, you could do, just do this, just fit in this box. This box that does not have it. There's no dick in that box. It's just a box <laughs> for him to fit in. It's my in a box. Slight spoilers for the rest of the conversation. If you haven't seen it, go watch it right now and then come back. We'll see you yeah. in 90 minutes. It's Groundhog Day, but they take it like way further. Yeah. You know, cause the Groundhog Day thing, that's kind of the predictable like, oh, you know, until you find love, you're gonna be stuck in this time loop and it's great. Groundhog Day is super great movie, kind of kicked off the time loop subgenre, but uh, this is not that movie. It's, yeah. It's not about that. Everything that we are doing is meaningless. Karma doesn't solve this problem. Yep. Um, it's really a problem of science. They have to go, yep. in the end of the movie, they have to go blow up the wormhole that they're in. Andy Samberg has to go stick his dick in a wormhole. It's my <laughs> and what, what's, what's great is they use the whole time thing. Like, they're stuck there, and Kristen Milioti literally just goes like, I'm gonna go become an expert in, you know, quantum mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm, I can't do this forever. No, I'm gonna get out of this. Suit yourself. See you tomorrow. The fun thing is, you don't know it right away, but Andy Sandberg has been stuck in this thing for we don't know how long. Yeah. Weeks? Months? Years? He could have been there for a decade, you know, yeah. already, you know, living the same day. And he's just kind of accepted it. He's like, whatever, just gonna drink and cause shenanigans. And then Chris Milioti accidentally follows him into the wormhole on this random fateful night. And, you know, she ends up stuck in the same loop. 
And that's when we kind of learn how things work through her, that it's like it's her first time, but he's been going through this forever. Here you are, standing on the precipice of something so much bigger than anyone here. This is a little rom-com element, but it's not the point of it. Like, if they don't no. fall in love, they're not gonna get out, you know? Yeah. Well, director Max Barbacow, I believe that's how you say it. Um, amazing, man. You did an amazing job on this movie. And the writer, yeah. on screen, <laughs> Writer, writer. Uh, you also did an amazing job, but the directing, the tone of this yeah. movie is unbelievable. It straddles comedy, heartfelt without mm -hmm. being schmaltzy, uh, science stuff yeah. without wanting to get too clever about any particular I, thing. I love that they just, they're just like, yeah, 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 quantum mechanics, blah, but they don't bash us over the head with like, um, like uh, Happy Death Day, the sequel, Happy Death Day to You, was like way too obsessed with making us understand. What the hell is going on here? Look, I was trying to close the loop, but somehow I got knocked into a parallel time loop. We're all in serious danger. The longer we exist in the same dimension, the worse things will get. It's a butterfly effect. When you watch a movie like this, it seems like, oh yeah, it's e it almost seems easy. When you see this movie, the tone, it seems like, of course, but it's much harder to do that as a filmmaker. The director, first time feature for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gonna be working after this. I mean, eventually, someday. He deserves when, it. When people are working again uh, in Hollywood, <laughs> uh, he'll work. My only question is, what's the deal with the dinosaurs? What's up with the dinosaurs? Apparently, like what I read is there are these dinosaur sculptures out in Palm Springs, and the director just thought it'd be kind of weird, existential, cool, like, oh, you know, maybe time is very relative in this thing, whatever. But yeah, what is up with the dinosaurs? I have no idea. Well, my question was, at the end of the movie, are they in our reality, or do they jump to a new reality? Doesn't really matter for the movie. This is why it's a good movie. Yeah. Again, it has all this clever stuff, but... It's about the people. Yeah. It's about these people and how much you like them and how much you want better for them. And that's why it works. Yeah. And Maybe. it's hilarious the entire time. That dance scene at the beginning oh with Andy Samberg, I was like, yeah. what is going on? Because oh. you don't know yeah. that he's done this a million times. Thematically, what I love about this movie is it's very much about people not being willing to have like lasting emotional bonds with others. Like it's really about like two people who are very much adrift from other people. They just don't want to have lasting relationships in their lives. And that's what the time loop literally is giving them this, like they're being forced to never have any kind of like lasting, you know, you yeah. just, here you go, same day over and over. And so to me, it's just really tight fit of, you know, the themes of the movie with the plot of the movie just mirror each other. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so good job, good yeah. job team. If you guys are enjoying this video, uh, give us a little like, give us a little subscribe. We would love you to do that. That's right. We want to go float in a pool on an inflatable pizza with you. With you! Sipping a beer. Or not. Whatever you want. <laughs> Watch Palm Springs, it's amazing! Have you ever been to Palm Springs? I have been to Palm Springs. I've been to Palm Springs. That was not my experience. This movie is not indicative of my experience of Palm Springs. My experience is getting catcalled by sexy gay men, so. <laughs> I think that is probably a more common experience in Palm Springs. For some um, of us, for, you know, some, for some of us. Some of us. <laughs>